Okay, hello everybody. And uh, thank you for watching and welcome to the video, I guess. So yes, in fact, I am the uh, culprit. <laughs> like I announced the Discord, I am the, uh, in fact, the founder of uh, LSC. Some people at the time were helping with live streams and some with designs and infographics. I was trying to help with everything. <laughs> you know, that was um, how I wanted to help. Um, so, um, yes, in fact, quite poetic, right? The founder becomes the CEO. Um, so we're going through a little bit of a transitional period now where, uh, you know, a lot of things, I, I was in charge of a lot of the operational side. So, uh, those things remain the same, but there's a lot of things which were, uh, divided and, uh, it will take maybe a couple, a week, a couple, couple weeks to, uh, get that all, uh, under wraps. Okay. So just bear with me until all that is sorted and out of the way. And voila. In the meantime, meantime, I'm working very, 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 very hard. And I mean that wholeheartedly. Um, like I said previously, and let me tell you why. Um, we've been a little bit, you know, sort of on standby with LSC, uh, with being sort of passive, I, must, I'm, I might say. We're taking a whole new stance. We're going on the offensive. Okay. First order of business is we're rebranding. And we're rebranding the whole thing. Right. That's a lot of work. But that's okay. Because it's very important we do it. So previously, the name was Legendary Seifu Club. Dot com. Well, perhaps you ask why? Well, club, because, you know, uh, perhaps you're, if you're familiar with NFTs, you've heard of uh, Board Ape Yacht Club. Tier 1 NFT, right? Uh, or other club, or this club. So that was the idea behind club, to get that Tier 1. Second of um, Seifu, well, evidently because most of us met there. So it was a tribute to that. A legendary, evidently a tribute to Brian. And it was kind of the, sort of the, there's a lot of things going on in Discord about legend, legend, this, legend, that at the time. So it just felt like the beautiful mix. So we went with that. Today, we're avoiding the Seifu name. A new name is Legendary Club. Okay? Uh, you perhaps have seen Radu's uh, intro, small intro, short version on. So you get a feeling for the um, logo as well as uh, sort of the color schemes and uh, we're going to be having. So it's going to be very much red <laughs> um, in terms of the website. The domain, legendaryclub.tech. It's been acquired, so I can publicly say it. Um, second thing is the website, yes, previously didn't load very well. A lot of content on there. And last time I think you saw me on stream, I was wearing a uh, Indian traditional uh, men gown called a kurta. Uh, this time around, just like the website, we're gonna do a more of a corporate website, okay? Simple to the point, NFT that pays, okay? Uh, so look out for that. I'm currently drawing mock-ups, uh, seeing what other people are doing. And uh, yeah, step by step, but we're gonna make it. And uh, that is one part. Obviously there's a lot of all the socials to change. Um, and each one of them is a different sort of infographic, 
a different um, a, lot, a lot of different images and resolutions and sizing. So there's a lot of bits and pieces to change. As you know, we're on all the social networks. Uh, so that's that's uh, also something I'll have to do, and I'm I'm going to be doing. Uh, but website is the priority. Okay. Um, just one second, let me have a sip of water. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, let's talk about the airdrop. So, at first, um, my sort of way of thinking for the airdrop was because I understood that there was going to be a sort of limbo or a dead period between the end of Sacrifice and the beginning of Vol. Um, and, you know, we wanted to capitalize on that and have intrinsic value in Vol and be able to uh, sell you that. Uh, to those people that couldn't acquire it or wanted to acquire more as marketing was going on. Since the past months, uh, obviously, we've heard the community and the community's take was more of the fact that their shares, their airdrop share value would be diluted. I didn't think of that scenario, but obviously it seems like what everybody wants. So, yes. Uh, we will not be opening the uh, public mint. The only NFTs that will sell are a very finite amount on Tofu from those that are selling or a finite amount from the treasury, uh, which we will sell a little bit different to usual. We will sell as auctioned out. Uh, so I've currently a couple of days ago put out the first auction. Uh, so they start at 0 0.1 BNB. Those still are eligible for their drop, but will not dilute everybody. So to continue on this topic of the airdrop, I, it's one of the, the, the goals and the promises I've made, and I, I like to honor and keep my promises. So yes, in fact, uh, once mainnet launches, the priority for me uh, will be that everybody is ROI. Okay, those that bought in whitelist, and those that bought on public, public sale. So we will uh, make sure that you get an airdrop. But you ask, how are you going to do that, Max? With only 2.5% unlocked. Well, I'm a strong believer in Pradonomics. A thousand dollar volt. Sue me. No, I'm kidding. But I mean, joke aside, we don't know, right? When, but it will happen. Um, we will use every means at our disposal. I'm talking about the treasury. I'm talking about the AP, fixed APR, the flex, the power pool, in order to ROI our most loyal, and trusted investors since day one. That's the priority. So once that's out of the way, then we can do the weekly giveaways. Okay? So that's the priority. Um, and we'll, I'll use every means in my disposal in order to achieve that. How much time it will take? I don't know. Um, but I will do my best as I have from the beginning, okay? Um, so we've talked about that, we've talked about the colors, the name, um, right. We are quite, we've done quite well, you know, we're 20th on the Vulcan Sacrifice leaderboard. That is quite the achievement. Obviously, we could have done better. We could have sold more. But 
This is just the beginning. We've, but I'm also tired of hearing 20th on the Vulcan leaderboard. What I want to hear is 19th, 18th, 17th, boom, 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 boom. Let's climb that ladder. How we do that? Well, you for a fact know that there is a portion of the funds that are going to remain in the treasury, rebase, flex, etc. But also, now we can still keep selling very finite amount of NFTs and use the proceeds of these NFTs, as we cannot buy Vol now, buy them on Vulcan mainnet launch. Also help alleviate more pressure on the treasury for the airdrop. Okay? So that's all to our benefit. And all to help price pump, Vulcan price pump, more transactions, more volume, more benefits for everybody, more flex, more power pool, more everything. Okay? Um, so that's, we mentioned, rebranding I have as well. <clears throat> so the, the, the amount of the airdrop, the point is that we ROI everybody. That was the point. So healthy ROI for everybody. Nothing crazy. Okay. Maybe something crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Proud <of Narics. laughs> Um... Uh, okay, let me have a, catch my breath. Talk to you about the domain. Right. The, um, let's talk about the NFTs. Okay. And let's talk about a little bit about Vulcan. Okay. So as you all might know, yes, I'm a crazy fanatic of Vulcan and crazy fanatic of Bryce. Uh, and I, so I say this with no disrespect. This is me thinking in a strategic and um, business sort of uh, way. Uh, most of the people I got into Seifu were not the most tech savvy, not the most crypto enthusiastic like we are, not, um, they're, they're mostly, their strategies are mostly buy and holds, buy and hold certain cryptos and sometimes, well, lose their codes or forget or simply not listen to Max, yours truly, and not sell <laughs> uh, and not take profit, which is a mistake. But it's sort of uh, like sometimes, I guess, people just got to make the mistakes themselves and learn from their mistakes. And then they can do better next time. So where am I coming with this? That's my experience, and I've seen this over and over and over again. Same thing goes for a lot of cryptos, for a lot of people. They buy, they forget their codes, or they forget they even had it. And then they remember and, well, there's a new KYC structure in place on Binance, and they don't understand what, what it requires. But it's kind of very straightforward, I mean, for us really big crypto enthusiasts and more more crypto enthusiastic people in. So this is where I'm getting at. I'm getting to the fact that tomorrow when Vulcan launches and when people want to claim their flex, it, it, do what's the strategy with Vulcan? If they hear about it, they'll need to be educated on it, right? Buy. Claim and hold and claim daily, daily. Whereas for the lazy or not so crypto crazy or uh, people which are more in different other businesses, 
and just want to have a foot in the crypto space, well, they still are in the buy and hold sort of way of thinking. LC is that buy and hold of all. They get the NFT. And once it's that time when they win the weekly giveaway, they get vol notification. So in essence, for my sort of um, pu public here, um, it's kind of easier to sell them an NFT, which is buy and hold, than educate them and then remind them daily to claim their wolf. All that to say is, when you do speak about Vulcan and LC to people, know that there is options. The benefits of buying the LC NFT are real. And not only that, they still benefit Vulcan. You know, we're still going to be buying more Vulcan with the proceeds. They still create more volume, still create more transactions. Okay? Just wanted to make sure that was clear. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure a lot of you have thought of that already. What else? Hmm. Mm. A lot of work to be done in the background, which I'm going to get to step by step, transitional period over, and then everything is, is transferred uh, and um, all everything is changed. And then we go on the offensive. I'd like to work. Yes. So this is the what I want to talk about marketing and how we target a new audience because we want to target out of the ecosystem out of the people we know. So have you probably seen that, you know, on my Instagram's public, my YouTube, I've been trying out different videos, sport related videos, um, car related videos, lifestyle related videos, um, shorts, um, TikTok videos. And last week I put out a video which was uh, sport related with a little bit of a gimmick and a funny kind of uh, uh, thing. And uh, it got like 1,800 views. And I was refreshing and it just got more views. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I straight away sent the link to Curtius, Daniel, and Greek to check it out. It was like the same viewership as we would organically get. The time was safe, it was at $300. Good times. <laughs> Yeah, more more good times coming on Vulcan. Much better. Uh, and um, yeah, so those the point of those videos is well, get more retention, more followers, more viewers, more subscribers. At the end of the day, the next videos that are going to be coming out are going to be Vulcan related, LC related. If we can grasp those attentions now, tomorrow we can educate them. Tomorrow we can help them buy bull. So that's the sort of general idea behind my videos. In terms of general marketing, targeted marketing is, is, is what I would like to do. Target marketing for those that are crypto invested. Okay, those that are NFT friendly, that that are crypto friendly, that know what they're buying. And for that, we need to do target marketing. And that will happen. But everything step by step. Okay, so I hope uh, this video wasn't too long. I was just trying to uh, give you my sort of uh, main thoughts and ideas and uh, on where we're at right now and you know, where we're going, 
in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is the period before Vulcan mainnet that we get, get everything sorted, everything right, everything on point and ready uh, for when Vol launches. And also it's important that we keep selling them NFTs. The more we have, the bigger war chest we have, the bigger war chest we'll have on Vol, the bigger everything, the more we can help. Because help is 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 the, the one word I just want to make sure it's clear. We want to help Vol organically. You know, that's that's been my main focus since day one. And it's still st definitely my main focus now. Okay? So, thank you all for watching. I hope uh, that wasn't too long. And uh, if you have any questions, you can tag me on Discord. There's a new suggestions chat.